makes an emotion good or bad? Well, perhaps what we need to do is firstly define good and define bad. Mm-hmm. Um, and then we ask ourselves whether there is whether we can classify emotions as good or bad at, at all. So, so let's define good. Good, to me, is something that is in harmony with love and in harmony with God's truth. So that's good. Mm-hmm. Something that's bad, or you could classify as evil, something that's out of harmony with love and out of harmony with God's truth. So that's what I'd classify as bad. Now, the question then becomes, is can emotion be classified as good or bad? And the answer to that is no. The emotion itself is not good or bad. So it doesn't matter... Even if, it, if, even if it got in there by a negative or bad event, an evil event or an event out of harmony with love, it doesn't necessarily mean the emotion is bad or good. It's just an emotion. Right. So, for example, I, I feel angry. Yep. Right? Or I feel sad or I feel shamed or I feel... It's just an emotion, right, at that point. Okay. It's an emotion. It is an emotion out of harmony with God's love and truth at that moment, isn't it? Well, it's an, it's an emotion that's out of harmony with our own happiness, certainly. Yep. And it's an emotion that if we were completely in harmony with God's truth and God's love, that it wouldn't be within us. Yep. I agree with that. But a lot of the times we never made it get there. We, never, we, we, weren't, we weren't the ones who created it in the sense that there was a, environmental conditions that caused us to eventually create that emotion within yep. us. And more importantly, not the creation of the emotion, but it's the storage of the emotion that's the problem. Yeah. So, in other words, environmentally, conditions were such that, we, that emotions were caused to be stored inside of our soul rather than expressed. Mm-hmm. Because if they were expressed at the time, they wouldn't be within us now. Yeah. So, so this is the beauty. If you let the kid, the child, cry... He cries out all the sadness, yeah. and now it's not in him anymore. Yeah. But if you say to the child, I'm going to belt you if you cry, yeah. you have not only now got the sadness locked in him, but you've got a layer of terror above oh. it of violence yeah. that causes the child to suppress the emotion. Mm. Now, now that, that is the damaging thing, the suppression of the emotion, not the feeling of it, not the expression of it, but the suppression of it. So, so we could say that the suppression of any emotion is actually out of harmony with God's love. Mm. And so therefore going to create some form of badness or evil in our life. Okay. Yep. And the suppression of any... Oh, and, and that can be a suppression of a positive emotion too, is going to create some form of bad or evil in our life. Uh-huh. It's a suppression of any emotion. Yep. You can see that if we see emotion this way, we don't sort of start judging it as bad or good. What we see instead is we go, it's the flow of it and how it flows that determines whether it turns out to be bad or good for my soul. Okay. Now, if I choose to allow this emotion to flow by damaging other people or purposefully damaging myself or in my environment, yes. now it's going to have evil consequences allowing that emotion to flow mm-hmm. uh, in that regard, in that way. If I choose to allow the emotion to flow in harmony with love where I don't damage my environment and I don't damage the people around me and I don't damage myself in the process, now it's going to have a loving consequence for my soul. So it's going to be very good for me. Even if the emotion itself is painful, it will have a positive consequence for my soul under those circumstances. And my environment? And my environment and myself. My soul, myself. The other half of myself, my environment, other people around me, all going to benefit from me letting go of that motion, even though the emotion was negative. Mm-hmm. Letting go of it means it's no longer in me. It dissipates. Yeah. It's, it's now no longer something that is going to attract things into my life to trigger, or, nor is it something that I'm going to filter everything by. So yeah. I won't interact with everyone through the filter of that emotion anymore. Mm-hmm. And I won't, my, my understanding will improve because I will no longer understand everything through that filter of that emotion. So everything will improve because I chose to be loving in my expression of the emotion, even if the emotion itself was created in a negative way or out of harmony with love Mm -hmm. through my environmental circumstances. Mm -hmm. So this tells us then that there is not really any good or bad emotion. Mm -hmm. There's just good or bad ways that you allow it to flow. Yeah. You can allow every emotion to flow in a good way, a loving way, in harmony with love Mm -hmm. and in harmony with God's truth, even if the emotion was created through a negative experience. 
and you can allow uh, even good emotions to flow in bad ways. Yeah. <laughs> You buy and then creating addictions through them and all sorts of things like that. So it just depends on, again, how you exercise your will as to whether these emotions turn out to be bad or good for you. Yeah. That's how, that is the determining factor. So there's a lot of emotions that a lot of us judge, like, oh, I'm angry yeah. or yeah. Oh, I'm afraid that's such a weak thing or whatever it is shame, that means I'm bad. All of these things. And a lot of the judgments of emotions even stop our flow of feeling them. Correct. And in fact, and we purposefully use the judgment of emotion in order to stop the flow of emotion. Mm -hmm. So that's an exercise of our soul. It's a technique that we've used in our soul that we've learned. Yeah. It's a technique to deny our emotion, yeah. which is actually going to have a negative consequence. Yeah. The judgment of an emotion is worse, much, much worse than the emotion itself mm -hmm. because the judgment of an emotion stops the flow of the emotion. Yeah. Now, we also need to exercise our will in a loving way when we allow the emotion to flow, of course. Mm. So most people, what I observe them doing, firstly, is they judge their emotion, which actually prevents the emotion from flowing. Secondly, when they allow the emotion to flow, they use their will to damage other people with it. Yeah. Now, both of those things are going to cause the degradation of your soul. There, there is only one good way of, a, of feeling emotion, and that is allowing your emotion to flow without harming other people or yourself with it. Mm. That's the way that you will actually have a positive outcome through the experience of your emotion. Yeah, and it's the opposite of what most of us have been taught, isn't it? Correct. That we should judge, we should shut down things that we judge as bad yes. um, so that they don't do harm. And when in fact what you're saying is as long as we do it responsibly and in harmony with God's love, mm -hmm. it is only the allowance of those emotions that Which will have a positive effect. Have a positive effect. And you also said something else very uh, interesting, that it is a suppression of whatever the emotion is that is going to end up having bad negative consequences. Negative yeah. consequences. So. I know a lot of us have shut down things like our childlike nature or, you know, our, yes. our excitement. All these things that, you know, not, we don't necessarily judge as bad, yep. but the shutting down of them, you're saying, will lead to negative consequences in our life. Yes. So, you know, all these beautiful qualities we often shut down. And as a result of these beautiful qualities getting shut down, we have a tendency then to, you know, exercise our will in a negative direction. Yeah. And, and yes, it's, a, it's, it's negative to exercise your will to suppress your childlike nature. Mm -hmm. It doesn't matter what the circumstances. And you're saying actually that creates badness in yes. our life, yes. in our soul. Yes, and yeah. will attract events to trigger, you know, you away from doing that, you know, yeah. to get you back to being childlike. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So it's really interesting, I feel, the mm. way the soul works and very interesting how people judge their emotions as good or bad or otherwise, but it's only the way in which you feel them that determines whether they, it's good or bad. And whether it damages your soul or the soul of others or yes. actually improves it. Correct. So we ha from what you're saying, I'm hearing that we need to be careful about saying that's a good emotion and that's a bad emotion, yeah. rather to look more closely at are we, are we how expressing we express that it. emotion in a good way or a bad way. Correct. Yeah. It's the how we express it that matters. Mm -hmm. If we're expressing it negatively or we're trying to suppress it, we might be trying to suppress it, deny it, resist it, or we might be trying to substitute for it, or expressing it in, an, in a way that's out of harmony with love and truth, that is going to cause a degradation of our soul. Mm. But if we choose to even experience the negative emotion, the sadness, the anger or the fear or whatever it is, if we choose to experience it in a way that's in harmony with love and truth, the way God intended, it's going to benefit our soul every time. Yeah. Every time. And it won't harm anyone else ever. That's the beauty of doing it the right way. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, it's, it's great. Thanks. Yeah. Yeah.